Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, an extra video for you, thanks to one of my wonderful patrons. This one from Darth Vendor. Thank you very, very much for this. And this is going to be part one of kind of several. Um, and I'm really excited for this. So this is looking at Austria-Hungary. It's a dead nation following the Great War, and the nation was broken up. But five years later, um, a group under Prince Otto von Habsburg have tr uh, are trying desperately to bring this great power back. Um, and it might be kind of landlocked, but uh, not really, because they do have access to the Adriatic through, well, what was Yugoslavia would now be like Croatia, Bosnia kind of area. So... Uh, we've defied the treaty signed by the Central Powers at the end of the First World War, and the French are not pleased. And they blockaded the Adriatic Sea, um, but uh, after a few months, they've now only left a token force, because they were kind of expecting the Austrians to give up, but they haven't. And I am to build a pocket battleship and try and break the blockade. So Admiral Miklos Hothi has been brought in to control this fleet and bring the first of many victories for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So, custom battle time. Uh, Austro-Hungary, 1923, against the French, also 1923. So the French have four light cruisers and six destroyers. And I get... A heavy cruiser, the blockade runner that I'm to build, or blockade breaker even. Two lights and two destroyers. So I do have some um I do have some support. Win condition, very simple. Destroy or drive off the French fleet. Destruction of our heavy cruiser would be heavily demoralizing. Don't let this happen. Fair enough. Um I'm to make the most advanced ship I can. Uh the gun size can only be eight inches at most. Uh, so it, it does have to comply with the Washington Naval Treaty of uh, 1922. So it's only just been signed. And that limited um, cruisers to uh, 10,000 tons. Now to say the most advanced, so I'm going to go for a minimum displacement heavy cruiser too. Um, I think that probably represents things uh, best compared to doing a maximum sized heavy cruiser one, which is the other way of doing it. Although I could argue, you could argue, because even even a minimum sized heavy cruiser one is still eleven thousand, so that's a lot closer. Let's go. Let's do that then. I know it's yeah. We'll go with a heavy cruiser one. Minimum displacement, the 11,900, you know, we can kind of lie with that. Um, and uh, I want to set myself a bit of a challenge with this. So, yes. Um, and why don't we name it after the, uh, the our new leader? So why don't we call it the Otto von Habsburg? There we go. Now then, um, I only get one choice of tower. They're very similar, but this is 90 tons lighter. So I'm gonna go f eight inch guns. Eight, let's go eight duels because this hull is pretty good for a four turret setup um, secondary guns it'd be nice if I could fit fives but I think is it wow really only two inch guns fit here okay go with two inch guns then 
It'll be useful against the destroyers, at least. Um, it'd be nice to have some torpedoes. Let's go for a couple of quad launchers on the sides, just to give us that flexibility. Right, smoke interference is 40. And that means... Can either go with a little bit of smoke interference or none. I'm going to go with the thick funnel three and I'm going to fit another two inch gun there. Now then, engine efficiency. Let's see. Gear turbines. Let's go balanced boilers. I'm a fan of the balanced boilers. 31 knots. Should be fine. I'm going to leave it on medium range because whilst we might just be doing a very short range operation today, perhaps later we need to move out into the Mediterranean. So medium range I think will be fine. We're not doing any like ocean going stuff at the moment. Let's get an auxiliary diesel engine, advanced propeller shaft, top end, top end armor, barbette protection, all or nothing armor scheme, anti-flooding, reinforced bulkheads, all the good stuff. Uh, mines would definitely be a thing to worry about, so I'll go for a triple bottom hull just now. I might come back and change this. Gun-wise, flash fire chance is nice and low. High TNT gives us that dual purpose uh, kind of approach. Uh, Semi-auto loaders. Let's go for electro hydro turrets, really push the boat out. Super heavy shells. Torpedo wise, let's go for 20, 21 inch fast torpedoes. Why not? Uh, acoustics, pick up a sonar set and a coincidence five range finder. We still have a little bit of weight left. That's good. That's good. Do I want a torpedo belt? Uh, maybe. Let's go for an anti-torpedo belt too, just in case we take a torpedo, although the ship is should be able to avoid torpedoes for the most part. Um, but just in case, you know, we run over a mine or a torpedo. I know mines aren't in the game yet, but they will be um, in the campaign. And I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think it through in a kind of like... If I was designing this as an actual ship. Um, and I know that's a stupid sentence. <laughs> you know what I mean though, right? <laughs> can we go for an 8-4 belt scheme? Yes, we can. 8 on the turrets. Let's go for a 3-inch deck with a 1.5-inch deck extended. With 3 inches on the turret tops. Secondaries, it would be nice if... Um, and three inches is fine. They're only two-inch guns. Um, let's get the tower armoured up the same as the bail. I think that's all okay. And then we'll just creep the belt extended up just a little bit. Just to give us a little bit of extra protection from... You know, your typical sort of five-inch gun type stuff. Six-inch belt extended... Hang on, could we go for a... 5-10. No, go for a 9 though. 9-5. Nine, Probably want more on the turrets and that. Ah. Yeah, it's getting the turrets as well. Tell you what, let's go 8-5. Eight, eight, turrets armoured up. 10 on the turret, there we go. We get to... No, not at all. Really pushing the limits here. There we go. I think that'll work. Um, pretty decent ship. We've got we've got reasonable firepower, reasonable speed, range, protection. I think I think this could work. Thirty point eight million. Not a bad price for a heavy cruiser either. Um, I wouldn't call her a pocket battleship exactly <laughs> um, it's very similar to a county class but 
Um, that's that's kind of due to the restrictions of meeting the Washington Naval Treaty, but she's a treaty ship, in my opinion, anyway. And uh, yeah, let's go. Enough enough dawdling, enough enough waffling. Let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, those are quite big light cruisers with one, two, three, five, six main guns. Destroyers have got a lot of guns as well. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at my own ships. So we have the Triclav Maximum Bulkhead Destroyer. Ooh. Reasonable gun armament and some torpedoes. Okay. And then we have the Welts or Welts. Many bulkheads, six inch guns, slower than the heavy cruiser, not as well armed, and with no torpedoes. But they could be useful for killing off the enemy destroyers. So Got a normal formation everywhere, please. Uh, right. Enemy is spotted to the north. So I think plan-wise, I'm going to have the destroyers and light cruisers, as best they can, deal with the light ships, whilst the heavy cruiser deals with their light cruisers. So... That should work, hopefully. <laughs> Enemy smoke spotted to the north. Let me know in the comments if you would have approached this the same way or whether you would have gone for a different arrangement, triple turrets perhaps. I just like uh, I just like dual turrets. They're just uh, something about them, and uh, they are very accurate. And especially when you get free, free barbettes with the towers, a four gun, a four gun, four turret, eight gun setup can prove effective. I hope. See, looking at the light. Cruiser here. I, I just don't like those extra turrets. They just don't have good fire arcs. Right. What have we got? Light cruiser. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a lot of secondary guns. Okay. The destroyers are not going to be able to deal with those. As a big light cruiser as well. And it has torpedo launches. Okay. They are dangerous. Destroyers, you're on torpedo watching duty. I'm assuming you have a sonar set. Yes, you do. Sonar one. I'll give me a little bit of more warning. Um, so yeah, I'll try and use the Otto von Habsburg to deal with those cruisers as best we can. No radar, of course. Good old fashioned optical gunnery. Trick laugh taking a little bit more fire than I would like. Just want you to back off just a little bit. Another enemy ship. Another light cruiser? Yeah. Spotted some just some of their destroyers now as well. Oh, single guns. Okay, that's a bit better. And a triple torpedo launcher on the back. Okay. Okay, we are just gonna have to engage in a bit of dueling for now. How fast are those destroyers, by the way? Oh, they're very fast. Good. Come 
like the light cruisers. Do you also have good sonar? Yes, you do. Perfect. Okay, so all my ships can can spot. That is good. I can't tell if they're doing donuts because they're firing torpedoes or not. Ooh! The Triklav taking a nasty hit there. Are they within my torpedo range? Oh, yes they are. Right. Aim at that light cruiser. I know you've only got the one shot, but each. But uh, just try it for me. Not firing. Right, go on to the opposite tack. All ships. Just because I'm assuming there are torpedoes in the water by this point. Yep, yeah, there they are. Okay, light cruiser, the Chasseloup Luba. Six inch guns, maximum bulkheads, ton of three inch, and some torpedo launchers. Ugh. Yuck. That's a pretty nasty, pretty nasty ship. Okay. Destroyers turn around, light cruisers are turning around, good. How fast are they? 29.5. Okay, so they're not particularly speedy things. Torpedoes. Sneaky. Double back. Launched some around. Uh, the D1 has uh, fired a speculative launch in the wrong direction. <laughs> Pretty sure. But you never know. Might get lucky. Okay. Oh, we've got a read on their destroyers. Perfect. Okay, so they carry two shots of their triple launchers. That's fine. Kinda just want to get them to fire their torpedoes at me. Tell you what, trick love off. Detach. I want you to go after that light cruiser. Like, properly go at it hard. While my own cruisers kind of try and deal damage at range. Some more torpedoes coming in, but. I think they will miss. Yeah. Enemy seems perfectly content to stay very far away. See if we can't hunt down this uh, like cruiser. Okay, you find your torpedoes. That's Good news. I think. Yeah, you. The Ansfelten. Actually, you might be okay. You're not. Try and uh, dodge those torpedoes as best we can. Smoke up. Gonna be out of the way. Oh Jesus, Billy, you gave me a fright. Shush. Yeah, the Ansfelden's fine. Billy, there's nobody there. Shush. 
Oh, just got a kill. Somehow. Torpedo hit. <laughs> Melee, be quiet. That's enough. Millie! And I know I'm like obsessively dealing with like a single light cruiser here, but the enemy wants to peel one off for me to deal with on its own. I'm not going to complain. Engine damaged. Okay. Trick love. Torpedoes. Fire when you get a bearing. <laughs> Shh. Actually, no, don't, 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 don't. They're on the turn. Hold your fire. They're coming about to uh, fire their starboard torpedoes. There we go. Not even sure who they fired them at, but that is a that is a miss. But uh, let's come about anyway. Okay. As soon as you get a shot, take it. There we go. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. Four torpedoes, four hits, and sunk. Excellent. Right. <laughs> Where'd the rest of you go? <laughs> I'm actually going to get my two destroyers here to leave the area of operations because Without their torpedoes and against those uh, other ships, they are quite vulnerable. Uh, and I do want to keep my ships alive as much as I can. And for now, I'm just going to get the three cruisers to uh, form up. Form a single line, and we'll find the rest of those ships wherever they've gone. Not quite sure what the enemy's plan was there. It seems a bit weird. But yeah, destroyers have done well. They can go home. Because they still have plenty of those light cruisers left. Um, and they are a real threat. Right, destroyers. What have we got? Tartu, Lynx, Carabina. Light cruiser over there, the Roland. destroyers as best we can. There we go. This is the main body of their fleet. We've got a hit on the Catinat at the back there. Uh, some of them are launching torpedoes. Let's do a turn. Target the main guns on the cruiser. Yeah, there are the torpedoes. Okay, we can spot them pretty far out. That's good to know. Let's do some uh, zigzags. 
more torpedoes. More torpedoes. I swear I'm going to have to break this formation up again. Just to make sure none of them do anything monumentally stupid. Okay, who's out of torpedoes? Okay, Glaive out. Ventura out. Tartu still has a has a shot left. And of course the light cruisers do as well, but Seems to be much easier to deal with once the destroyers are dead. Don't sail into those ones. Oh, ammo detonation on one of the destroyers, I think. No, on the cruiser. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't do that much damage. Must have been a really small gun. Broadside on again. Stop flinging shells down range. Another set of torpedoes over here. Millie, be quiet. Even if we can encourage some. Uh, Torpedo launches. Uh, aim for the Tar 2 and Wells aim for the Lynx because they're the ones that have torpedoes left. Because I'm pretty sure the Carabiner is out. Oh no, the Carabiner still has some. But the Votor and the Glaive do not. Flooding on my light cruiser there. It's not ideal. And apologies for this being a fairly slow and careful fight, but I really do not want to do anything silly like charging in and losing all my ships because might make subsequent scenarios much more difficult. Pretty big spread of torps coming out, but I think we're okay. Yeah, it's fine. Probably from the light cruisers. And Svelten taking most of the damage here. Let's turn and get your guns firing again. Same with the Habsburg. We'll also throw off any other torpedoes that have happened to have been fined. What are your chances to hit 3.2? I'll go for that one then. Lynx still has torpedoes. Lynx and Carabiner are the only destroyers left with torpedoes, so the light cruisers are much more of a threat now. Well, not that they weren't before, but... Right, let's go back to the Catanet. And Svelden, you can fire on the Catanet as well. Wells keep trying to... Oh, we've got the Roland over there. Completely forgotten about it. Getting some pretty nice damage in on the Catanet. Flooding. What are their bulkheads like, actually? Forgotten Max. And Svelden dropping back a bit. Catanap definitely taking damage though. 
more flooding. Oof. Come on, Ansfelden. Whoa, torpedoes out. Fired at the von Hatzberg, I think. It's a very aggressive angle, though. should be they should sail by fairly harmlessly right, Catanet might actually be a torpedo target here and fire when ready thank you Speedos off. And then uh, see if we can't take the goosh. Goosh. <laughs> Turn. That's why I worry about my own light cruisers as well. Because I don't want them getting too far away from the main action. I think, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, and another spread of torpedoes coming out. Oh, we missed the catanap. <laughs> Suddenly sprung back to life. Oh, tricky. It's going to be a really tricky one. Okay, hey, Catanet has no torpedoes left. Forget her, we can finish her off at our leisure. Right, Ansfelden, you've taken too much damage. Retreat. And retreat under a smoke screen. Torpedoes flying every which way. Whoa, 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 We just got hit. Is that the Ansfelden? Ah, shit. I did not see those coming in. Must have come in from the Roland. That is really annoying. Yeah, Ansfelden. Good job, buddy. What did you to retreat already? Right. Starboard launches away. Should prove a little bit harder to dodge. Three hits. Yep, lovely. Fire on the carabiner with the guns. Ooh. Okay, those have missed. Okay, so the Lynx is out of torpedoes. Yeah, okay, so all the destroyers except the carabiner back there are torpedoless. The catanat is torpedoless. So the Roland over there could still be potentially very annoying. But if we can kill the catanat. No, uh, kill the uh, carabiner, I mean. Then we will be in good stead. Go after it. Looks like the Wells and the Catanat are engaged in a gun duel. Actually hit her, please. Two hundred 
two inch guns might be coming to the rescue here. Where is that torpedo launcher? Rear. Good hit. Come on, get more flooding hits or something. Two inch guns doing absolutely sterling work. Keeping it on fire constantly. Poke a few more holes in it. That is a badly burning destroyer. Down she goes. Perfect. Right. <laughs> See if we can't catch up to the catanet. Wells is still operational. And it's kind of plinking away at the Tartu. We'll take as a target of opportunity for the Otto. Rudder damaged. Ugh, you've got a target lock. Right, screw it. Main guns on the cabinet. Try and hunt her down as best we can. And Svelden's still trying to get it out, out of the area. Close in. Ugh, lost the lock. Flooding. Two engines down. Flooding. Three engines down. I don't think I need to use a torpedo to finish her off. I only have one launch each side anyway. I'd rather save that for the Roland, wherever she's disappeared to. drive-by sinking. Lovely. Right, switch to save. Wills, uh, you're fine. Just keep firing normally. Let's go and see if we can't help out the Ansfelden a little bit. Being bothered by destroyers. Speed up a little bit. Switch your main guns just off for now. 
while we close back. Oh, I'm going to take control of you again. You're still on a retreat order, but you are the closest ship by miles. Stop losing the lock. There we go. It's more like it. Yeah, four inch guns. I know these are not heavily armoured cruisers, but and they do do they are actually doing more damage than I would think when they get that close. It's not nice. Stop it. My poor ship alone. No! <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's disappointing. Unable to uh, finish off the Tartu quickly enough. Again, very strange tactic by the AI. I haven't seen the Roland again. She's kind of dropped those torpedoes and disappeared. Uh, my own destroyers are miles away at this point. Safely back in port. Just not quite sure what the AI is up to. Yet another battle where I have to chase them. <laughs> Which... It's getting old, um, but uh, yeah, the what would I do in the AI's position? I've lost lost three of my cruisers. I've lost a bunch of my destroyers. I probably would retreat, but we will, we will see if we can at least finish off the Tartu. I know the other two destroyers are over here somewhere. So we might be able to catch them too. Just be nice to finish off the Roland wherever she's disappeared to. Flooding. This is much, much more damage. It's more like it. Got one more flooding hit. On our aft section. Come on. Ugh, still got an engine left, so they're fixing it. Another flooding hit. Not in the right section, though. Is the Habsburg opening up? Yeah, she is with her two inch guns. There we go. All right, enemy. Really? To the north? you say so. But uh, I think the uh, blockade has been successfully broken. This is only a times 10, so they're not a million miles away. Come on. 
Where are you hiding, AI? North, northeast. Really? Not so sure. I'm gonna keep the wells going uh, more west. Hang on. I thought I saw plumes of smoke. Might just go mad. See, now it's under times 30. Hmm. <laughs> I think wherever they are, they've run off. <laughs> and I'm not getting any close to them. Is this to the north? I just don't believe it. Ah, it could be to the north of the flagship, which for some reason is the Trick Love D1. So they could be bloody well anywhere. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say that that uh, blockade is well and truly broken. Uh, thank you very much for the scenario, Darth Vendor. I really enjoyed that. Um, French AI not really wanting to stick around seems to have buggered off with their remaining ships. Was a shame to lose one of the light cruisers. Um, wasn't expecting them to be able to threaten it um, misplay there but hope you enjoyed that one and i hope to get, see you again soon for some more ultimate apple dreadnoughts bye bye